Hello friends, welcome to your own YouTube channel Achievers Data Engineering. My name is Gyanendra and this is yet another interesting session on Power BI tips and tricks. Right, so in this video we are going to discuss how can we swap visuals in the same report using bookmarks, right? So as you can see here I've got a sample image where I have this visualization created and using a button and bookmark and selection combination I am changing the same uh, I'm changing the visual on the same report to a different visual as you can see here, right? So how can we do this and why should we do that, right? So for example, we want to enhance the viewers experience and instead of cluttering up the report with multiple visualization on a single report, we can have this, you know, bookmark feature enables. So how to achieve that? Let's get started to see that. So before I go ahead and start working on the actual visualization that we wanted to achieve, let me show you an example that I have already prepared so that we can get to know what I am talking about and what would be the end result of this video, right? So here you can see I have a beautiful dashboard or a report created over here. I am using an animation visualization over here that will kind of, you know, show the entire data based on year. It will automatically change the visuals based on year, all right? So it is beautifully created. Now I can show you that in this particular visualization where I'm showing total waves by months, I have a tool tip created in that tool tip, I'm showing another chart, right? So if you don't know how to show another chart in the tool tip, go ahead and watch my another video, a link in the description. Right. So now what we are going to talk about here is you can see here I have enabled a button. So whenever I am hovering over my mouse on that button, it's kind of changing its style. And if I click on it, it's taking me, uh, you know, on the same report, but it starts showing me different visualization. Right. So if I go back over here, it is showing me waves and downloads by month. So it's kind of showing me the total values across the filters that I have selected, right? But uh, for example, if I go ahead and select 2018, now it's showing me the total downloads and waves by month of 2018. And now if I click on top performers, it is showing me the top five assets by waves and top five assets by downloads for 2018, right? So how can we achieve this using this uh, buttons and bookmarks? Let's see that in practical now. Let's get it started. So now I am on a new Power BI report and uh, just to save some time, I have already created these top visuals where I'm showing these cards and uh, donor charts along with the filters. Now uh, also I have created those additional charts. So I have already created this uh, line chart where I'm showing downloads and waves by month and it is nothing but the line chart and the additional chart too, which is uh, showing this bar chart uh, where I'm having these top five assets ID by waves and by down top five assets ID by downloads, right? And in order to calculate these top five, I have nothing, I've done nothing fancy, but applied a top five filter over here. So kind of pretty simple. I have applied this top N and five and for the downloads, I have mentioned downloads and for waves, I have mentioned waves, right? Okay. So uh, let's get started. How actually we can achieve that swiping visual. So first of all, first of all, I'll go ahead and copy this line chart and paste it over here and you know, let me just put it on the proper on the correct size and side similarly i'll go ahead and copy these two visuals as well and paste it over it all right so these are actually properly occupying the space and i have uh, you know given them same height and how to set height you can go into the visual settings in general you can find the properties and you can you know align them and give them proper sizing so that they are on the proper size all right now we have got all three visuals that we want to swipe in between now we need buttons so i'll go ahead and go into insert and go to and select buttons the task that we want to achieve we can either do it by buttons or maybe we can 
you know create that bookmark settings with shapes as well but if we are choosing buttons then they will give us some additional features like a styling and hover over effect that we won't be able to achieve in the shape right so i'll go ahead and select one of the buttons so any of the button will do the same task so depending upon the visualization that you have you can select the you know sign or type of button as per your choice so just for the demo purpose i'm going to select this information button and let me put on the you know here and i'll go ahead and name it let me just type text is it selected oops all right just give me a second okay so button is selected now i'll go ahead and click in general and uh, type text not test all right so turn it on and i'll name it as uh, so because right now we are seeing uh, we are applying this button on the top five visuals so i want to give a button over here that will you know that, that will help me to navigate on all waves and downloads so i'll name it as all waves and all waves and downloads all right and now let's do some styling on it so first of all uh, let's select the styling and let's change the font i'll give it some border as well let me just remove this and go into the effect title properties visual border i'll turn it on and make it light gray and similarly so that's all in the default state all right so now i have selected these kind of you know settings that i'm that i have given so far those are in the default state now make sure that this button is selected and once we'll go into the state so apply settings to state i'll select on hover so whatever settings i will do now that will make sure whenever i will hover over my mouse on this button it will change that style to that the new configuration that i'm going to do so now what i want i want to reduce font a bit and once i hover on my mouse on it i want to give it a fill color and i'll give it a light blue also let's give it a border and i want to give some dark blue borders all right so now what in default state it will have gray borders like this okay. just let me select it again and when i will hover over my mouse on this its font size would be reduced a bit and its color will be changed accordingly so it will give kind of effect that this button is being highlighted or is being you know being enabled when i'm hovering over my mouse all right so now i'll go ahead and add one more button and let's this time i'll select uh, let's take back button and i'll put it on here so depending upon the visual that you have got and uh, where the you know space is available you can set it accordingly and uh, give it a proper design and texture so for this one i'll name it as turn it on and i'll say top performers okay let me reduce the size all right and similarly i'll make the text as black and go to the style again button style in default i want to give it a border that should be the light gray now when i change and hover over my mouse i want to reduce the font size and similarly i want to give it a fill color light blue and border that should be the dark blue all right there we go okay so our we have got all three visuals we have got two buttons we have set up the styling
now we will go ahead and start wiring these things up so that we can you know swipe between them all right so to start wiring things up let's add uh, i'll go to the book i will go to the view and under view i'll click on a bookmark and add selection pane so okay let me just collapse them to have some more space so now with the help of this selection and bookmark pane we will be you know doing some swapping and showing and hiding visuals for example if i you know particularly click on this visual and click on this i button i will be able to hide this particular visual from the viewers right so now what i'll do i'll go ahead and select these five visuals so three visuals and two buttons and let's select them okay now i'll go ahead and click on add a bookmark let me rename it to top performer all right now in this particular uh, bookmark what i want to know why, why what i want to do is i want to first of all hide total waves and downloads because i i'm i want to show the top performers only so i'll hide this visual which is which is being now hidden from background right and also i want to because i will be on the top performer view i want to give users an option that they can give or that that they can go on all waves and downloads so i need to hide this particular button right this one so i'll go ahead and click on unhide oops i unhidden the wrong one so this one i need to hide all right so again i'll go ahead and select all of them and update this update this bookmark now along with this i need to do a few more changes i'll click on these three ellipses and uncheck the data now when i'm unchecking the data what does it mean when i'm unchecking the data i am telling power bi that okay do a bookmark of you know of present visuals but do not bookmark the data so for example if someone has already you know did some modification in the filters for example someone has someone is watching data for 2017 and those visuals are being reflected and adjusted to show the data of 2017 don't change that just save the bookmarks of showing visuals as an image but do not change the background data so i'm going to uncheck that also the settings that i'm applying is make sure is being applied on only selected visuals right so these selected visuals that i have selected i want to apply this setting only on the selected visuals not on all of them all right so i hope it makes sense i'll go ahead and click on update once more now i'll go ahead and add one more bookmark and i'll rename it to all waves and down loads all right now in this i want to reverse the waves so for example i'll you know show this one hide this button hide these top 5 and unhide this total waves and downloads all right and let me just go ahead and again select these top five, like all five visuals i'll go ahead and click on update and i'll uncheck the data and make it selected only visuals only all right let me just go ahead and save right so now let's click on view so that actually we can test our bookmarks that we have recorded so once i am on the top of our bookmark i am seeing these uh, you know these two visuals where i am seeing the top five waves and downloads and i am getting a button uh, to so that i can navigate to all waves and downloads similarly once i'll go to all waves and downloads a uh, bookmark i will be able to see this and uh, i'll get a button that will say top performers so that i can navigate to top performers uh, visualizations right now let me exit the view and just to make sure we can review these settings that i we have done right similarly in this one so now what i will do let me just collapse them as well and I don't know we will need the bookmark right so now first of all i'll go ahead and click on this top performer button go into format button go into action and turn it on 
Now, what action I want to perform on this top performer button is uh, bookmark. Now, what would be the bookmark? I want to go on the top performer bookmark. So when someone will click on this button, it will you know navigate on a bookmark that we have saved as a top performer, right? Similarly, once I'll go ahead and click on this button, I want to turn on an action and make it as a bookmark and I want to navigate to all waves and downloads. All right, that's all. Let me collapse it again. So now, because we are on the desktop as of now, so I'll go ahead and use the control click. And once I will click on this button, it will navigate me to on this visual that says downloads and waves by month. And this button will be highlighted here. And once I will control click on this button, it will again navigate me to this visual. Right? So it looks cool now. And we are able to see this fancy button styling and we are able to swipe the visuals, right? So I hope it has given you a proper understanding on how we can swipe visuals on the same report to give more information on a single report. If you have any questions or any confusion at this point of time, please do let me know in the comment section. I would love to answer that. If you like the content, please go ahead and hit the like button and please do subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on any latest video which I upload. Thank you for watching. Keep learning. Have a great day.